To identify the position of anything in space, you need three planes, an XYZ plane, and with that, you can uniquely identify the position of something in space. It was kind of a convergence of that knowledge and seeing what was being offered in the laser tool market and understanding the possibilities of what could be done with optics and bring a complete reference system to the builder. Tim Litvin is an engineer who happens to live on his boat in Santa Cruz, but that's for lifestyle considerations. You might think a boat with its constant movement docked in the water is an odd place to develop a leveling device, and the boat actually has little to do with the technical aspects of this story, but it's an astonishingly poetic setting to do design. It's a great place to be. Um, so yeah, it's inspiring that way. It, turns out to be an ideal place to do design work. Litvin has been doing optomechanical design for a couple of decades, working with mechanisms that hold and transport optics like lasers, microscopes, telescopes, fiber optics, infrared, and temperature sensors. One of his ideas was to create a high-end level, which he calls the Cornerstone Classic. It's a laser tool, a, a, a self-leveling laser tool, that generates three complete planes of laser light. They're orthogonal planes, meaning they're at right angles to each other, to give the builder um, a level plane, two vertical planes that are square to one another. So it gives you every reference that you could need in the building process and, and give you complete lines for those references. Again, we create three complete planes of laser light. There's nobody else that does three complete, absolutely complete planes of laser light. This does the job of the ubiquitous rotator that you find on many, many job sites and most construction people are familiar with to create a, a complete level plane. In addition to that, it will do the job that layout lasers do of providing plumb level and square references, only it will do it better than they do it by giving you complete references, not just a dot here or a, a line segment there. And though this story is not specifically about boats, it was at a boat festival in the state of Washington where Litvin received the kind of vote of confidence entrepreneurial energy feeds on. The Wooden Boat Festival in Port Townsend is an annual event where this year I think there was uh, close to 10,000 people that showed up and this is a, a celebration of craftsmanship. There's everything there from people who are boat builders uh, of, of all sizes from large motor yachts to kayaks and canoes, tool makers, um, foundry, a uh, foundry rather that does uh, bronze castings and very specialized kind of activity. So the, this is a, a coming together of people who build products that are as good as they can possibly make them. It's an expression of their personal integrity. And so we, we brought our tool up to show to a couple of boat builders who were there. And uh, boat builders immediately got it. You know, they said, I know how I could use this. I could use this tomorrow. And uh, we just wished we would have had one to, you know, hand to them and let them take away at that moment. But we brought one with us. They recognized it as being the kind of tool that they are comfortable working with. It's the, the kind of tool that that they invest in, and um, you know they, they know that they're going to have this tool for a long, long time. There's a synergy between Litvin and builders of high-end boats, or high-end anything. The Cornerstone Classic is designed to be looked at, to be aesthetically appreciated, and to be held. Everything was machined in the United States, and uh, that's something that we in intend to continue doing. We are working closely with a local machine shop at the moment who... Uh, do terrific work and uh, on the scale that we hope to sell these as uh, what we call in, uh, you know the, the niche product this is something that can be done exercising the muscle of America's high-speed machining building jobs here in the states and keeping things as close to home as possible the mechanical parts the big structural components are CNC machined locally the Printed circuit board is uh, stuffed uh, by a, a local company. That means the, the electronic components a, a assembled onto it. The um, molded lenses are produced on the East Coast. There's a diamond-turned optic that is produced in Colorado. The hand-tooled uh, wooden grips are made here locally by local craftsmen. So it's tried to keep everything as... Everything that can be made in America is, is made in America. Yes, he lives on his boat. He designed the Cornerstone Classic on that boat. 
So if that boat had anything to do with the design of the device, perhaps it's a case of an entrepreneur creating a product that fits his values. You know, I've worked for a lot of different companies and, and built a lot of products for in different areas. And each time there, there's a, a dozen ideas you throw away because you know, you've got to focus on the product that the company wants at that time. So there's been a lot of ideas that I've wanted to bring to market. And so this was a product that was of a scale that I thought, you know, maybe I can afford to bring this one to market.